Hey, this is Josh and Dean from Wise Bites. What's up, Josh? Oh, not much. I'm ready for an exciting new episode. We're going to talk about fractional CMOs. And the reason we're talking about it now is I'm sure you read a lot about all these recession scares, right? And, yep. You know, so do I. And so you and I have either directly been involved in marketing where we're run marketing for ourselves and others, or we've had a business where, you know, marketing is, a, is an essential critical component, right? And so uh, every recession, so many businesses, they slash marketing and sales, right? Yeah. And then the surprise when they come out of the recession and their, things are starting to grow and they're not, it's because somebody else took the market share. And Josh, I'm giving you a softball. Why did the other companies take their market share? The other companies cut, sal they cut salaries and payroll and what they did is double down on marketing. Right. The yeah. expenditure on actual marketing, not on, yeah. So right. they went all in. I, I went, had a guy say to me just recently, uh, because real estate was kind of getting a little shaky in Arizona, and he goes, when this happens here, it's when I push all my chips in. I market. I'm like, I'm all in. I, I start marketing like crazy. By the way, he didn't sign a contract or market at all. But... He said he said he was going to. So, all right, but good. that's honestly what the the, the smart money does. It, it, and and there's statistics and studies, you know, to prove it. One of the ones that I, you know I pulled up from uh, uh, Analytic Partners, which is a report, which is you know has an, uh, a lot of marketing uh, and business type reports, is that 60% of brands that increased the media spend in the previous <clears throat> recession uh, had a greater ROI, right? Um, and they had a 17% increase in their sales during the recession. And so there's a number of things that we can talk about that we're going to come back to a fractional CMO. But why do you want to increase your spend? It's because everybody else is decreasing their spend. And so you can get, uh, let's just take AdWords, because I know you do a lot of this. And as things get more competitive, the cost skyrocket is skyrockets as things get less competitive you get such a bigger bang for your buck yeah it's funny you know i, I hate to use this example no i don't no you postcards. don't postcards traditional direct mail marketing in the last you know throw uh the last uh, couple months with all the political stuff that was coming but there was actually my junk mail wasn't full in my box and I had a, a marketing company that specialized just nothing but direct my own marketing. And they said they were actually having a boom because no one was doing it, that the clients that were, were willing to pay more because they were having such great success with it because the junk mail days were over because now it's email is your junk mail. Yeah. So now email is your junk mail. So, you know, and, and no one wants to buy postcards and now they're getting attention again. So it's all cycles you got to follow the cycles but that that's an example of that yeah and and so uh using the the postcard uh example um is you, you were you were piggybacking on my comment that keyword um costs go down and so when you now you're more competitive because you can get a bigger bang for your buck in the same with the postcards so let's take that on a on a grander scale right take all your competitors right during a recession and talk of a recession, they're cutting. Yeah. And another thing that they're doing is they're limiting their hiring. So Josh, I wanted to talk about how can you cut costs and increase your marketing um, efforts? Yeah, well, really- Dude, Another softball. Yeah, yeah, it, using a fractional CMO. Right. And, and that sounds fancy. And how I learned about the, before I became one, <laughs> How I learned about it was I used to use a fractional CFO. I couldn't afford, my company was like, I can't afford a true CFO. I, you know, it'd be $150,000 to $200,000 salary, but I could get a fractional because I only really needed their brain for a day. You know, and it's like, so if I can have you for a day for a fraction of what you would cost me for a week, it made so much sense. And, and then before in, we scare anybody away with the, the one day as if it's a limitation, because you and I were together, um, we never got to the point that we needed any more than the fractional CFO that we had. And it was greater than a day, just for clarity, because oh, yeah, we yeah, always yeah. had access to him and his team. Exactly, it was, yeah. It was, 
there was always that. Um, and, and I wanted to point out when you said, you know, one hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand dollars in salary. Um, you know, then you have, you know, benefits, right? And then you have everything that comes, you know, with that. And there's a, a, a certain um, commitment that you have to go when when you do that. Then you have the, you know, the um, the hiring process, right? And so with a fractional CMO, you're not getting that one person. So we had our CFO. Well, we didn't get just him. We had his whole team. team. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I, I was getting there. You didn't let me get there. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was excited. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so some of the fractional CMO work we currently do, it's like, you know, we come in, uh, we assess the client just like I, we would as a consultant, as a consultancy. So we assess the client, what their needs are, what they're currently doing, just like we would if we were taking over their marketing department. Then we look at their, you know, current efforts, what we think they should do. We meet with the ownership, explain what we would do. And then we implement those things using our team, which are employees they don't have to pay for. And all of these things. And again, it's, it's kind of like you get a think tank for, for the cost of, you know, a, a tenth of a person, mm -hmm. you get a whole think tank to, to actually do and execute all of your, all of your things. And yes, it's, a, it's a trusted advisor really is what it is. I want to expand on your think tank because it's a think tank and, and it's executioners, right? Yeah. So when you use a fractional CMO, like, uh, like us and wiser. So we're there for you and we help you develop the strategy. We will put the roadmap on, you know, for three or six months, you know, whatever it may be, but then we're doing the execution and you know, the content, the copy, the posting, the designing, all of that gets done. And so what you're doing now is you're, um, you had mentioned earlier, you know, somebody, you know, that I'm putting all my chips in. So now you're putting all your chips in, but you're getting a greater bang for the buck because you're not spending that money on that 150 plus salary and related benefits. Yeah. And yeah. And a person that's going to have to outsource all the other stuff. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, no, I just, once I went, once I had a fractional CFO, I was like, I will always have that. Like, I just thought it would just, it was the way to have that level of professionalism and that, that, you know, what the big boys have for her fraction of the cost. Another thing. So and what now, you're saying is once you have a fractional CFO, you can't go back. Yeah. 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 That's what they say. That just rolls and off it, the tongue. But it's so funny because I had that same uh, fractional CFO say to me, you should be a fractional CMO yeah. with all of your wisdom. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, and then years later here, I built, a team, you know, of experts. And, and the, and the cool thing about our organization is that, like you said, when we come in, not only you're not getting one person, you're getting our whole team, but, and it's the power of the fact that we've all been in all of those businesses. So it's like, we, we bring a level of expertise. That's like, we've been in, I can't think of a type of business we have not either done the marketing for or been a part of, you know, yes. it's like, and, and I can't think of one. Uh, no, I mean, exotic uh, dancing, maybe, but you know, I should have been <laughs> one. So um, I was going to play the fireman. Fire but I'm, gonna, I, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, did any, have I ever been in any enter? You know, I did a lot of work right in the casino industry. So actually you, you might know, have now that I think we're, I'm we're, sure they have in that realm, you know, did they have reviews all girl i don't know or, <laughs> did you have the thunder from down under in your casino one of those uh no we did not have that i i don't think you know chippendales you know we did have something like that though I yeah that's what i was. thought that's yeah, yeah it's been, you're right yeah so, so i digress we have been in everything we have been in everything you know yeah um so josh with the the fractional um cmo you were talking about the the depth of experience. And I just wanted to highlight uh, like some specific things that I've noticed when I talk to people that um, they don't do because they're working on it or whatever. They're trying to figure it out. And let's just take an analytics dashboard. How much money, I mean, how many times, Josh, have you asked someone like, uh, okay, well, how much money are you spending, you know, per lead and what's the conversion rate? And they look at you like, you yeah. Know? 
And I'm I shocked by the big businesses yes. that we do marketing for that don't have a CRM, that don't know their KPIs, that don't have a clue about what their leads cost. Right. And so with that said, a fractional CMO set up with a team like ours is we're going to look at it and say, you know, like, okay, what is your, you know, your average cost per lead? What's your cost per sale, right? What's the lifetime value of a client? And when you don't know that, we know what we have the, the tools to say, well, you know, we could do this for your, you know, uh, you know, really efficiently and impactful, you know, to your business. Um, and I know you recently were, or you are currently talking with uh, some organization, I can't remember, they have three or four locations and they didn't have the initial software. It's uh, in the gym industry. Uh, and you're said, and you're like consulting with them and actually managing the execution of the, um, the, the, you know, software for when they check in and keep track and to market them when your membership is, is expired, right? They didn't have anything in place. Yeah. And they had, they had such a beautiful model. Like the business model is so great. And I never, I, again, I had never worked in that industry before. And when I saw, I, I, I started taking apart their, their financial structure and I went like, wait a sec, cause I really need to understand this to know what I'm marking. What's your most profitable thing for me to market so I can get your biggest bang for your buck. And when I saw where they were losing all their time and their momentum, they couldn't see any more people because they were spending so much time with, with clerical things I was, that should be automated. It was like, and then they saw it and I saw it click in them. It clicked for me and together, like it's, I'm so excited about their 2023, but just because, because I know the needle is just going to yeah. like and, go and up the charts. That's, so let's uh, jump on that word excited, right? That's 19, the thing is what 19 year old company. Oh, okay. Good. So that makes it even more exciting. Yeah. So that's one of the things when you bring in uh, a team like that, you're immediately going to get excited because it's fresh eyes. There's a depth of experience and we're going to offer you stuff that you can be like, Oh, that's great. You know, it's motivational. It's exciting. Plus, you know, New Year is right around the corner. So it's like, you know, you want these things to, you know, to come together and, you know, make it a killer 2023. Yeah. Did I just use a 80s reference killer? Nobody says killer anymore, do they? Oh, I say killer. Excellent. Awesome. Uh, I don't use rad as much as I would have. I'm not before. saying what you use. I'm saying what is outdated. <laughs> oh, no, I'm definitely outdated. Yeah. So I got a, a friend of mine I told you about, like, he's a, he's a older guy. He's just shy. He's 79. And he, he cracks me up. He uses the word golden. Golden. Like, yeah, did you see this in a movie? He was like, oh, that was golden. <laughs> <laughs> golden. I don't know that one. Wait, you saw. Because you saw he's a, a generation was, ahead of us. Yeah. 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 So a fractional, what I'm trying to get at, Josh, is using a fractional CMO is golden. It is totally golden. Yeah. It's radical too. It, it's it's rad. It's tubular. Oh, totally tubular. Yeah. I've never liked tubular. I don't no, know. No, I did. That was, that was Valley tubular. girl stuff usually. Yeah. Do you, do you remember? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You know, fractional CMO, Josh, is hella good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's no. pretty bad. Fractional CMO, ask your current CMO, <laughs> where's the beat? <laughs> Uh, no, no, you don't want to do that. So, uh, all right, we'll stay away from the, uh, you know, the killer and tubular and whatever else we, it's actually we really super back in dude. So don't literally, I was just at a, a, a little, uh, co-op store I love going to and the, the people working behind the counter, I thought I was in 1988. I could not believe it. You had a flock of seagulls and you had <laughs> Ali, Ali Sheedy front breakfast in breakfast club attire so wait, wait like, what store was this it was it's called call it new call it old it's cool consignment shop call, i i like it you and know chelsea, Josh, chelsea, chelsea caught it right away she said she goes oh my gosh she goes are we in 1988 i said yes we are <clears throat> so we were just talking about earlier in the 80s that that you want to bring jingles back oh i so, so I, I, 70s I think, 80s yeah that's what you should do. I want you for, for the next time we have an episode. I want you to come up with a fractional CMO jingle. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, that, that's for the next one. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end this with um, uh, a fractional CMO. If you're uh, if you're concerned about a looming recession 
or if you're looking right now for you know a director of marketing uh, management or director level or higher uh, marketing hire consider a fractional cmo uh, at least you know talk to us or some other organization that does it because it is i think a great word josh it is exciting because when you talk to a team that comes back with some uh, fresh perspective and some tangible things that you can implement it is exciting hey i already think i got like a rap for it i have something about oh, so you're not even listening to what i'm saying you're just no, i was thinking the jingle in, your, in your head yeah you could just it's freeze transactional it's more than fractional <laughs> you're ruining it for the next episode right. sorry yeah i'll save it you know when i say jingle i just want to be uh, i just want to clarify i'm thinking like those 80s sitcoms right yeah so it wasn't really the the rap scene at the time so i'm thinking of like um uh what's the one with michael j fox oh i almost went to silver spoons ricky schroeder <laughs> ricky schroeder <laughs> yeah yeah no we don't want that no no, no, no. it's uh 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 oh my gosh why Family can't ties. i think of it Family ties. Family ties. I was going to go. I was going to go, Mallory. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm thinking family ties. I'm thinking Alf, right? Alf. No one <laughs> thinks Alf. You shouldn't think Alf ever. Hey, I liked Alf. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm yeah. thinking. So, um, you know, that, that's, that's where we are. We got so off track on that. But um, there's two things I want to leave everybody with. <clears throat> two important things. One is consider it. Talk to us. And come back because Josh is going to write a 80 style jingle for fractional CMO. It might be a rap and it might be the old school 80s kind of rap, which was just kind of like, I found my car keys. They were cool. Oh. No, 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 no. Trust me. It's going to be worse good. Than, it's worse than cray cray. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So with uh, that said, with that said, I want to, I want to anybody say, hire any of us now. That's <laughs> yeah. Okay. Those but that I, no, no. I think we should, you know, end it and say um, thank you and apologize to everyone. Yeah, apologize. We didn't ask you for a job. Bye. <laughs> All right, great. Thank you.